We've got a problem with the next scene, Larry. What's that? Our crew's going on double time in 30 minutes, and you've got 10 shots planned before then. Wait, can we afford that, Larry? <laughs> no. How do you know what you don't have to shoot and still get your story on film? We're going to show you what you need to know next on Two Real Guys. Hi, I'm Larry Jordan. And I'm Norman Holland. And welcome to Two Real Guys. Norman, I am so excited today. We have Ooh. sketched out this incredible 10-shot scene. I've got it blocked out. I've got it planned because, you know, well, I have been studying about pre-production. Huh. I have been watching the shows, and I know that planning is everything. Pre-production is critical, and I have done storyboards. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've done storyboards like you have never seen storyboards done before. Can For we, instance... Can we look at them? Yes. This is the first one. This is an extreme wide shot of Lisa on stage. Stage. She enters. Now this is a... Which one's, which one's Lisa? She's the one with the hair. Oh. There's Lisa, because she's got hair. And she enters in to this table, this incredible restaurant. It is a restaurant which mm -hmm. is so immaculate, so perfect, so flawless in every possible way. Very high-end. High-end restaurant. Right. And she's meeting Wait. Andrew. And Andrew, who's desperately in love with Lisa, is so excited that we see him smiling in a close-up. Mm -hmm. Is this great or what? Then we have a wide shot of Lisa getting closer to, it's a Titan from the extreme wide shot, Titans in to see Andrew, but notice she's not happy. Right, so we're calling this a wide two shot, so we get to see both of the characters in the film. Right, and then we have an over the shoulder shot of Andrew looking at Lisa. Mm -hmm. This is Andrew, right. over Andrew's shoulder, onto Lisa. And we are doing an over-the-shoulder because we want to see Lisa as she starts to talk. Then we have an over-the-shoulder shot of mm -hmm. Lisa looking at Andrew, mm -hmm. because Andrew is very excited about meeting Lisa because he's on a date. Mm -hmm. This is just incredible. So that's, and that's called a reverse angle from the shot we saw before. Right, and we're now at setup number six. This is a close-up of Lisa. Gorgeous, but Isn't she's, why is she looking sort of sad there? Well, because she's telling Andrew that, that uh, she wants to break up, uh. but... You think you didn't know, Andrew didn't know either. He is really unhappy. And then after that, Lisa storms off. We go to this wide shot, a whole new setup. We got the two of them on opposite sides because they are so alienated from each other. Mm -hmm. Alienation's a word that I've learned by going to graduate school. And then we have a side shot of Lisa because she is rejecting. She has spurned her old boyfriend. She's, she's, that, that's her spurning She look. is very unhappy. And you think she's unhappy. Andrew is still unhappy. Mm -hmm. And he then is just stalking off the table and demands standing next to her to have some sort of reconciliation. Now, is this brilliant well, or I'm, great? It's I am atypically speechless. They tell the whole story. The entire story is being told. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let me just ask you a question here, okay? Um, you've worked on a lot of films. I have. Directed a lot of films. I've directed more shows than you have gray hairs in your head. Uh -huh. I will pass that comment up. <laughs> and, and I've worked on a few gray-haired shows as well. Indeed. Um, so let me just think for a second. The two of us, let's uh, think, um, how many shows, when we got on set with them, actually worked the way we had planned them out? Right. Hang on, I can... Uh, think about it. I can... Uh, think, think. Never. Never. Not Never. once. Right. Nothing it's, goes according to plan. There's always changes that happen when you're on set. I'm always surprised that there's any film in the can at the end of the day. <laughs> with everything right. exposed properly, with right. sound and with actors that can act. We have to know when we get on set how to accommodate changes. So you've got 10, maybe 11 shots there. Brilliant so, shots. So fantastic in this fantastic restaurant. and. Um, Absolutely incredible storyboards, too. So now what's going to happen is we're going to get to the set. Yep. And your producer's going to come up and go, uh, Larry, uh, check this out. You've got uh, 10 shots planned, mm -hmm. or 11. Mm -hmm. And um, we've only got a half an hour to do that before the crew goes into double time. So how do we figure out which shots not to do and which shots to do? What do you think? Flip a coin. That's exactly wrong. Oh, <laughs> darn. Kind Choices? of what I'm thinking, story. Right, that if you know what the story of the scene is, it'll help you. So what is the story of the scene? The story is that Andrew is desperately in love with Lisa. 
-hmm. And he has been looking forward to this night because he was hoping to make that relationship permanent. Except what he doesn't know is Lisa can't stand him. <laughs> and so this is her time. She's going to break up with him because it's just time for her to live her life. Mm -hmm. So this is the moment, that special moment, when Andrew discovers that his life just changed. Well, but what I heard you say, and this is crucial for me, what I heard you say is that it's about Andrew's change of emotion. It is exactly. Andrew begins the scene, oh, I'm so happy about this. That was the smile and the stick figure, right? And he ends very upset. Because he's, his heart's broken. His best girl broke up with him. So the scene is really about Andrew. Mm -hmm. And there's a particular place in the scene where he changes from happy to sad. At the moment that Lisa tells him she's leaving. So what we've done here is identify whose scene this really is, to know who we're tracking and what's important. And we also have identified in the world of two real guys we call the lean forward moment of the scene, which is the moment where we want the audience to lean forward and pay attention to Andrew's change. Right? So now we know it's about Andrew and we know where exactly where in that scene we're delivering the message to the audience about Andrew. So now we can start to eliminate shots that don't help that. Which means I can take out most of the shots of Lisa. I need to do the wide shot because mm -hmm. wide shots show the environment right. and close-ups show emotion. Mm -hmm. So I need a wide shot to set the environment to begin with. The fantastic restaurant. And then we do the over the shoulder as she sits down so we see Lisa talking. And then after that, it all lives inside Andrew and mm -hmm. his reaction to what Lisa is saying. So I could probably do it with four setups. Right. So do we need all of that business with... Uh, uh, with uh, Lisa getting up and walking out and Andrew getting up and walking out in order to sell that change of emotion? No, because it's all focused on what Andrew's thinking, what Andrew is feeling. It's an Andrew scene. Mm -hmm. In fact, let me show you exactly what the scene looks like using our two real players. Let's take a look on stage. First, you've got the over-the-shoulder shot onto Andrew, which you called shot number five, right? Then you've got the over-the-shoulder onto Lisa, that reverse shot, which was number four. Then there's that big wide two shot, which you would call shot number three. And then you have the close up, which when you cut in there, the only close up in the scene is going to accent how Andrew feels. All right, so what have we done? We've basically gone from 10 or 11 shots down to four. And now maybe we can make that half an hour before the crew goes into double time. Now, how did we do that? By, by focusing on the story. On the story. So by knowing whose story it is and whose scene this is, we're able to determine what we need to shoot and what we don't need to shoot. That's how you can really think on your feet and change things in the, um, on set when there's tons of questions you need to answer. We'll be back with a tip right after this. A few episodes back, we focused on planning. One of the key questions you need to ask yourself in your planning is what happens if we don't have time to shoot everything? Well, when you focus on story, issues on what to shoot or not to shoot become a lot clearer. So what have we done here today? We've learned that by focusing on story, you can figure out what you can shoot that's important to that story and what you don't have to shoot. My name is Larry Jordan. His name is Norman Holland. Thank you for watching the two real guys. Thank you.